Hey there, welcome to Finance Tea, where we spill the tea on all things personal finance. Today, we're going to be talking about how to purchase a car under a business name. The first thing I want to discuss are the advantages of buying a car under your business name. So one of the main benefits to doing this is that you're able to separate your business assets from your personal assets. For instance, you get to protect yourself from being sued if your vehicle gets into an accident. Then you have the benefit of being able to optimize your maintenance costs if you have a vehicle that's under your company or you're under your business name. So if your company owns a vehicle and the CEO or the owner uses it under the power of attorney, gasoline, maintenance costs, all of these costs are deducted from the legal entity's funds. So basically you get to you know maintain your vehicle with company money. Also one of the good benefits of doing this is that you have higher insurance coverage. So as a business, you know, cars run into additional risks. So you get to purchase your car and then have, you know, get the benefit of having commercial car insurance. And usually with commercial car ins insurance, your insurance coverages are a lot higher. Um, you get to be covered for a lot more um, as opposed to just a personal, you know, insurance for your vehicle. And one of the biggest benefits of purchasing a car under your business name are the tax deductions. So basically owning a, a car under your business name is considered a business expense so all of your gas all of your mileage again your maintenance cost can be deducted on your taxes and you'll be able to write off some of your taxes with um you know your vehicle expenses so that's one of the biggest reasons why it's a good idea if you own a, a company to purchase a vehicle under your company name of course it depends on the company that you operate but if you know traveling is a part of your business then why not purchase a car under that business name so let's get into all the ways to make this happen so the first thing that you need to do to purchase a vehicle under your LLC or business name is to create a business credit profile in a credit bureau like Experian, Equifax, Dun & Broadstreet, any of the major credit bureaus for businesses. So you wanna create a credit profile for your business. So after that, you really wanna build your business credit, which could take up to two years, if you don't already have business credit. So if you're just getting started, getting off the ground, it could take you about two years to actually build a good credit, a credit score for your business. So in order to make sure that you build good credit for your business, you wanna make sure that you're paying your bills early, avoid relying too heavily on credit, clean up your public records if there's any you know, negative marks on your credit, make sure that you pay enough on your credit cards over the amount that is like the, the minimum payment, and then make sure that you're paying your minimum early for, on your credit cards. Because in order to qualify for a car loan under your business, your credit score needs to be at least 80. It needs to be at least over 80. And that is in regards to business credit, okay? And then you wanna be consistent with checking your business credit score, okay? Consistently. You, so you contact the credit bureaus and get, a, and get a report. I would do this maybe on a monthly basis to make sure that you're keeping and maintaining that minimum score. So then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your local car, car dealership or wherever you, you plan to, to purchase your vehicle. And then you want to go to the commercial sales department in the car dealership and they'll help you with buying and registering your vehicle. Okay? So this is the commercial sales department in your car dealership, okay? And they help businesses with purchasing vehicles. So then you, of course, you wanna choose the car you wanna buy and the car that you purchase needs to be able to fit your business needs. And then you wanna be able to provide your financial information because they're gonna probably ask for it. Some of the lenders may even wanna know your business balance sheet, like how well you're doing in your business or your credit history. So they're gonna be interested in your business balance sheet or even your credit history. So have that financial information ready to go. New businesses who don't have as much profit in their, in their business, you know, they haven't been established long enough to have a really good balance sheet, they may have a little bit, you might have a little bit more trouble getting a, a business uh, loan for your car um, so just remember that it may take a couple years while you're building that credit score also be building your business as well now let's talk about personal guarantee okay yes it is possible to purchase a car in your company's name without a personal guarantee as I said before your company must be financially sound in order for this to be considered an option. So in order to purchase you know, a car in your company name without a personal guarantee, your company really must be in good financial standing. Okay, so that it's not as easy as people are making it out to be. It'll take some time to build that up. Like I mentioned, up to two years for that credit you know, history to be established. 
and for your company to be in good financial standing if it's necessary, if, 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 if need be, right? If you're just starting out, it can take some time. However, there is a loophole with that. So if the authorized owner of the company, okay, has a strong personal credit history and has a really high credit score, you can personally guarantee the car and the company's name. So meaning the financial institution, you know, will check the owner's credit history, okay? And if they, they see that it's a good credit history and they're well established and they have a really high credit score, the authorized owner can personally guarantee that the payments will be made on time. Okay. However, if there is a default in payments, okay, it is the authorized owner that will take the financial hit, not the company. So this is why it is best it, you know, to, to put the car in or to you purchase a, a car in your company's name without a personal guarantee because then it hits the company as opposed to actually your personal pocket, you know, if you're the owner of the company. Um, however, if you know you're going to be able to pay the payments on time, then this could kind of speed up the process. You won't have to wait those, those two years to establish a good credit history under your business name. So there's really a lot of misconceptions about that. I mean, a lot of people make it seem like it's easier than it really is. And that personal guarantee needs to be cons considered because the same reason why it's a good thing to have an LLC for your business, because then if somebody sues you, it hits, you know, that money comes from the actual company and then you don't get a personal financial hit, right? It kind of protects you. The same kind of way with purchasing a vehicle under a personal guarantee is something happens, you get into an accident with your vehicle, someone can sue you as the owner and, and not the actual company. It's not as easy as it seems. Then you wanna look for lenders that have a history working with business vehicle financing and are willing to work with somebody who, or with, with businesses who wanna purchase a vehicle without a personal guarantee and so you want to definitely explore different financing options with loan leases and credit as well so you want to contact multiple lenders with the best financing options you want to consider interest rates terms and any additional fee there are several different types of lending um, institutions that'll be able to help you like traditional banks credit unions online lenders and captive finance companies that are associated with different automakers some traditional banks that actually can help uh, set you up with a commercial vehicle and a commercial vehicle loan are wells fargo bank of america jp morgan chase and then some credit unions are navy federal credit union state employees credit union alliant credit union some online lenders are Ally Financial, On Deck, Lending Club, Funbox, and then captive financial companies. Here are a few. There's Ford Credit under Ford Motor Company, GM Financial under General Motors. You got Toyota Financial Services, obviously under Toyota. So you definitely want to shop around uh, to, you know, compare rates and, you know, financing and things like that. You don't want to just jump on the first uh, bank or institution that you come across. You definitely want to compare. So one of the things that needs to be established as well for you, for you when you're searching for a uh, you know, business vehicle and you know, business loan for your vehicle, you really wanna make sure that you establish a good business plan because you wanna be able to show these financial institutions that your business is in good standing financially. So what documents do you need to be able to apply for a car loan under your company? So you need to provide, you need to have a tax ID number, okay? You may apply for an employer identification number, an EIN, if your principal business is in the United States or US territories. So you can actually apply for an EIN online, but you must have a valid um, social security number. So you are limited to one EIN per responsible party. So can you use your business car for personal purposes? A car um, registered under a company name can be used for both business and personal uses. I mean, you know, technically you're not supposed to, but it's like, impossible to prove that you've only used it for business purposes you know when you're filing your taxes right especially nowadays like the digital age really blurred the lines between business entrepreneurship and personal you know personal time some people you know they they have work from home jobs or they have their own businesses where they can just go to lunch and still work while they're you know going to lunch and it's kind of business and personal at the same time, right? So it's really hard to differentiate the two. So the answer is yes, you can use it for personal purposes as well. So if you want to purchase a car under your business name, just make sure that you have some patience. So if you liked and enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe for more 
tea on personal finance everything regarding personal finance we discuss here on this channel turn on that bell to be notified when i drop my latest video help your girl out and until next time y'all bye